What up guys, your boy Quake, and today we received some new information as to why Drake hasn't responded to Pusha T yet. And the reason why is pretty disappointing. We finally got the confirmation that Jay Prince has decided to intervene in this beef and has told Drake to not respond to Pusha T. For those that don't know, Jay Prince is an OG in hip hop. He's the founder of Rap A Lot Records, which has birthed a lot of artists and has motivated a lot of other artists to create their own labels. So he's very well respected in hip hop and his son, Jay Prince Jr., was the one that found out about Drake and brought him to Jay Prince. And then Jay Prince made the deal with Birdman and Lil Wayne happen. And that's how Drake essentially got signed to Young Money. And Jay Prince has been going around radio station to radio station promoting his new book, The Art and Science of Respect. And of course, while promoting his new book, he got asked about Pusha T versus Drake and what's going to happen with that battle and if Drake is going to actually respond. And Jay Prince decides to reveal a lot of information behind the scenes that we did not know about. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to let you guys listen to this audio of Jay Prince stopping by Sway in the morning earlier this morning to talk about the battle between Pusha T and Drake. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like it crossed the line where music was concerned. You know what I mean? Uh, the disrespect for his mother, the mm -hmm. disrespect for his father. Uh, 40, you know what I mean? A man that's dying. You know, I, I know these people, so I felt I felt that that was totally disrespectful, and I couldn't, you know, after even speaking with Kanye, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I spoke with the brother, mm -hmm. and he didn't want this, you know what I mean? And I saw this going in a place that I feel would have ended his career if Drake would have put out the song that he had on him, and definitely would have hurt families and you know what I mean? And and we not we not in it for that. You know what I mean? That's that's not great character. Mm -hmm. I ain't you know, we're not in business to to tear our brother fellow man down, you know, to that extent. Mm -hmm. So but but you are you cool with the art of the battle though? Because you know that's yeah. the, that at yeah. the core of hip hop is all right. about the battle. I, I love the battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I I think it's a beautiful thing, the battle. You okay. know what I mean? It was only crossing the lines you know what i mean and i understand when those lines are crossed i understand where it go from there and that's why i call it you know a a, a, a pig mentality you mm -hmm. know what i mean because you finna some slop finna be thrown you yeah. know what i mean mm -hmm. and and my thing is you you're a pig and, and and then you're a hog and then ultimately you get slaughtered and i feel like i witness a lot of this happen and, and a lot of people sit back when biggie and Tupac was in the midst of battle. Mm -hmm. And you wonder how these things go here. Hmm. This is how they go there. When you, this is how they go there. When you mama and daddy and, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, friends start feeling some kind of way before you know it, it's going down. It's going down. Yeah. Did When Drake mentioned uh, Pusha T's fiance by name, did, right. you, did you call him and, and say, hey, that's, that's, that's out of bounds? Well, he, he mentioned her, but it wasn't in a... a a vulgar manner, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I I wouldn't have had nothing to say if he'd have mentioned mom if it wasn't disrespect wrapped all around. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. You, mm -hmm. you know, wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's if it's him and he spoke on the man fiance in a vulgar manner, then you're like, you're wrong, homie. You you can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, but this dude, you know, he he went above and beyond the call of duty. Yeah. You know, that's push a teaser. You know. That's just the that's the type of MC he is. Would you right. consider talking with Pusha T rather than Kanye? I don't I don't have a problem speaking with no br brother. And, yeah. uh, and I understand where he at with that. You know what I mean? I understand that mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's all or nothing for him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I understand mm -hmm. that, but he got to understand I was as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we not. I can't. You know what I mean? Ask Drake. I wouldn't want to sit back i know his character i know who he is and i understand the business perspective around all of this as well mm -hmm. so you know i couldn't advise him to go ahead and, and and get in the pig pen with this man and you know it wouldn't forget be about business. everything yeah. you built yeah, yeah. It, w it wouldn't be good business either right uh, no. so he, he did have a response ready though huh Jeremy? oh no doubt about it you, you heard it <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this here, the ingredients, the, the, the ingredients was overwhelming, you, you know what I mean? I know for a fact that uh, it would have been bad for Kanye and my man, 
you know what I mean? Had that song got out. Yeah, yeah, it just wouldn't be good, you know, from, it's, it's, it's beyond music at that point, you yeah. know what I mean? It's gonna affect the livelihood, it's gonna interfere with his whole lifestyle, uh -huh. you know what I mean, from that day forward, so. Did you have him press the delete button? Because I'm wondering, since it was made, if there's a chance it could eventually leak. No, no, I don't. I don't think it would leak because, uh, you know, he gave his word. You know, and 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 me knowing Drake like I know him, you know, he has a word. Mm -hmm. And uh, until I see differently, you know, I will bleed differently. Fast. Yeah, okay. What, what kind of stuff did he say though? <laughs> <laughs> One little teaspoon. Come on, Drake, come on, Put two and two together. The, the book is out, ladies and gentlemen. The book yeah. is out. All right. Now, based off this interview, Jay Prince is essentially saying that they don't want this beef to go too far, that it's gone beyond boundaries now, and that it's getting way too personal, and Drake isn't that type of character. He's not that type of person to destroy livelihoods, which I can understand because Jay Prince has been in this game for a while now and has seen the Tupac and Biggie incident go down and how bad that went and has seen other incidents go down in terms of beef and how bad they've gone. And if you listen to this interview, you can tell based off what Jay Prince says that the new Drake diss track was mainly aimed towards Kanye West because he says that ingredients were overwhelming. I know for a fact that it would have been bad for Kanye and my man. Notice how he mentioned Kanye first. So Drake would have attacked Kanye more in this diss track, which wouldn't have made sense to me because in the last diss track by Pusha T, the story of Adidon, Pusha T himself says that he wants all the bars. Don't go at Kanye West. He's just a producer who has a bunch of ghostwriters. He's not a battle rapper. And this would have been a very bad look for Drake if he released a diss track and it mainly went at Kanye West. That would have proven the theory that Drake has no dirt on Pusha T and he has really nothing else to say about Pusha T which ultimately would have ended up causing him to lose the battle overall. And Drake probably would have just mentioned the Kardashians and his family, which would have been very disrespectful and, you know, things would have got out of line. Maybe he would reveal that Kanye cheated on Kim. Who knows what it would have been about, but it definitely wouldn't have mainly focused on Pusha T. I don't know what Drake could say in a diss track towards Pusha T that would have had people like in awe. So I think Jay Prince is essentially saving Drake by saying, hey, don't release this track because you're mainly going at Kanye West. And this is a battle between Pusha T and Drake and not Drake versus Kanye. However, when the interview continued, Jay Prince said that, you know, the song hasn't been deleted and that he doesn't expect it to leak and that Drake won't release it because he's the type of person to keep his word. But me personally, based off of what I know, how long I've been talking about hip hop and what's happened in the past, I know this diss track is eventually going to leak. Any diss track that's been known publicly by the world, that there's a diss track there out there, it's going to leak eventually. That happens with everyone, whether it's a day from now, whether it's a month from now, whether it's a year from now, whether it's just a snippet, it's going to leak. Something's going to come out from that diss track unless Drake just completely deletes it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For me personally, I think even if Drake released this diss track, if it was mainly going at Kanye, it would have still been taken as an L to Drake simply because Pusha T himself said, give me all the bars, who cares about Kanye West? He's just a producer, he's not even a real rapper, he has ghostwriters and stuff like that. So it wouldn't have made sense to go directly at Kanye more than Pusha T. It would have just proven to people that Drake does not have any dirt on Pusha T, he doesn't know what to say against Pusha T, and it would have been a bad look overall. Either way though, Drake, if he doesn't release the diss track, he lost. You know, having Jay Prince intervene and say, hey, you can't release this diss track, having an OG, a grown man tell you that, hey, this is not the battle for you is a loss in itself. And releasing a diss track that's aimed mainly at Kanye is a loss in itself as well. So I don't see how Drake can really get out of this situation winning. But Drake will still, you know, be on top in hip hop, still sell millions and millions of records. It's just in Drake's DNA to make hit after hit. And it is what it is. But in terms of battle, he lost this. Anybody who's neutral on this battle, you know, who isn't a Drake stan or a Pusha T fan can see that Drake lost this. It's as simple as that. But yeah, leave a comment below. Do you guys think Jay Prince intervening in this situation was a good or bad thing? 
What do you guys think would have been on that Drake diss track? And if it would have released, do you guys think Drake would have redeemed himself? With that being said, if you want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality for just a dollar a month or more you can support this channel further like comment share and definitely definitely subscribe i do videos like this daily on hip-hop news and much much more so definitely subscribe follow me on twitter and on instagram at quake gw like us on facebook and i'll see you guys in the next one peace